So it's been a hot second. What feels like a little bit ago, I thought, hey, I'm gonna do some vlogging and I'm gonna get really into it because my life's about to get not busy after school, starting a full-time job. Yeah, that was a lie. <laughs> I'm doing fine. It's only been two years since I posted my last vlog, which is really crazy in my mind because it doesn't feel anywhere like two years at all. My life has entirely changed since I last posted. Where do I even begin? <laughs> well, first off, let me start with, I ended my last vlog two years ago saying, yes, my next video is going to be when I post all about going to Japan. I'm gonna give you guys tours and everything that happened. And I was just so busy in Japan. And by the time I got back that I never had time to really like actually vlog style some videos, I'd recorded a lot of what happened but I never got a chance to like talk to the camera. Plus it felt really weird trying to talk to the camera in public. One of my friends actually ended up doing a vlog though. So I have her memories to kind of recount what happened. But outside of that, there's no Tokyo video. Now I'm hoping, I'm not promising, but I'm hoping that sometime in the not too distant future, I won't make any promises that I can put together like a, a reaction video maybe to some of my photos and videos of things that I saved from Japan and be able to kind of re-explore that because as long as COVID is not as big of a deal as it is now and there are no further restrictions put on travel, I'm going back to Japan in November, which is really <laughs> exciting. <laughs> now that all yeah depends on if there's any travel restrictions added to Japan, but as of the date of this recording, there are no travel bans going from the US to Japan. And since I'm quarantined, I'm not quarantined, but I work from home anyway now, doesn't really matter if I had to quarantine for a couple weeks when I got back, right? The cat's gonna hang out now. Can you go say hi? Be friendly cat. Okay, oh say hi. Say hi, Gremlin. You're so happy to be here. So yeah, I went to Japan. I'm gonna go back to Japan. Might do a reaction video. Not making any promises because my life is still very busy. So let me kind of walk you back. What happened after Japan? Well, after Japan, I started a new job, which was great for the first couple of weeks and then quickly went downhill from there. And I, there were plenty of nice people I worked with, plenty of good aspects about the job. I had a significant pay increase from my first job, which was an internship. So really anything would have been looking up from there, honestly, but definitely was not the right fit for me. I struggled a lot with my direct boss and his boss received plenty of, I don't want to call it bullying, but it sure felt like bullying in their critiques. Just really felt like I couldn't do anything to please anybody at that position. And it wasn't a me thing. It was definitely a problem they had with a lot of people in the company. So I put up with that job for a year and a half before I finally waved goodbye. And I am so blessed to be working where I'm working now because I get to work from home full time, which is just crazy because at my last job, working from home was like, we don't care if there's a snowstorm where every school is closed and that you could do all your work from home. It sucks for you. I guess you're going to spend an hour and a half driving your commute in. Again, please don't die on your way in. Thanks. Have a nice day. So yeah, I'm really excited to be working with somebody who's not just so understanding, but they genuinely feel like they care about my well-being and they feel like a group of friends I get to hang out with every day, which is just really awesome and what working should be like in the ideal world. It's been really good, guys. This job is awesome. And I found this job while looking to be able to move closer to my boyfriend. Another thing that's kind of happened along the way is I was in a long-term relationship when I started the last vlogs and things just kind of came up and by that fall we were no longer together. And so I gave myself a couple of months to just kind of 
be me and to take some quiet time and to pray on what had happened and ask God, you know, what what's my next step in life? And, you know, where am I supposed to be right now? Because I felt so stuck. For the longest time, I'd had an end goal of someday I'm going to be with this person and I have a place to go to and it's, it's going to be great. I have a plan place. Like, I'm not the happiest I've ever been, but there's a plan. And Mackenzie is most content and comfortable when there's a plan in place, no matter what the outcome of said plan is. And so when that relationship kind of fell apart, I didn't know what to do with myself. So I spent two solid months. Now, for some people, that might not be a whole lot of a break time. For me, that's what I needed. I took two months to pray a lot, to just be me, to enjoy time with my friends. Honestly, it was the best decision I could have made for my life. And I felt so much better. I was in such a rut for a while. But once I had found peace with the whole situation, I was able to open myself back up. Somewhere around the new year of 2019, I said, you know what? I want to find something serious. I want to find whoever this partner is going to be. And I am willing to do whatever I got to do to find this partner. Shy of like dating at bars and looking around and meeting people in public because no offense, I'm an extreme introvert and people wear me out and social situations stress me out like nothing else in this world could. So I decided to try online dating. I looked through a couple of sites, weighed out my options. At the end of the day, eHarmony had the best graphic design, the best layout, and it was also half off. <laughs> so it's just like, well, I really just want to get to know people and, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to some boys. I'm going to do something I've never done in my life. Get to know people, chat with people, online chat with people, which is great for me because then I can take all the time I need to respond, not worry about what my response is going to be because I can really like put it together before I give somebody a response. Online dating, I felt like I had such a stigma about before I tried it. It was like a last ditch effort at finding love which should not be the case for anybody because you find love when you find love. But it just so happened that I met my boyfriend on eHarmony and not just I met him on eHarmony, I met him less than two weeks into starting the journey on the website. We were dating a month later and we got engaged seven months later. Does that sound crazy? I mean, to me, I can understand where people would find it kind of crazy. But then I thought about, you know, my parents have a similar story where they were both in long-term relationships, found each other, and then they were engaged like two, three, four months after they met each other, which is not a lot of time at all. So I felt like seven months was a pretty good spread before getting engaged. But when you know, you know, guys, you just know. There is such comfort and peace it feels right. And it's really hard to describe it any other way as you just, you just know. And meeting my boyfriend and just getting to know him, like there are so many things in our lives that aligned. And while we might have some differences in interest, most of it connects and it works so well together. And, you know, I might not be into like Metal Gear Solid, but we both like video games and we can find that in common with each other and just enjoy being around each other and conversing with each other. It just feels like it has been such a God thing all along the way and that I went through everything I went through in the last few years, whether it was directly in my relationship or just in my life, to meet this man. And it's been pretty crazy awesome. So yeah, so I got engaged in September. I don't know if you could see the ring. There's the ring. But yeah, it's really pretty. Started planning a wedding. Along the way, there was also my brother's wedding this summer. We set our date after that. As of the time of recording this vlog, today's July 31st. Tomorrow, August 1st, is my 25th birthday. Weird. And then, a week from tomorrow, Matt and I are getting married. Which is just crazy because I felt like when we started planning our wedding in September, like August felt so far away. It felt like the farthest thing away. And I know that 11 months might be a short engagement period for some people, 
but that felt like forever to us. And it's just been such a blessing that there has been enough going on in our lives, good or bad, but it's kept us busy. <laughs> and we have finally made it. Well, in a few hours, we'll have made it to August. And in a week, we'll be at our wedding day, which is crazy amazing. So I thought I would take this vlog here and just kind of give you a, a glimpse into what the week before the wedding is kind of like. Got some fun things doing tomorrow for my birthday. I believe we're in the morning. Fiance and I are going to go to a crepery that's nearby. I'm going to try some crepes. I mean, I'm not like a great crepe connoisseur or anything, but it's they have coffee as well, and I thought it might be something different to go out for breakfast as opposed to going out for dinner, which is usually what I decide to do. And then after that, so far, the plan is to go to an animal sanctuary where we can pet wolf dogs and see foxes and monkeys and all sorts of animals that they have, which I'm so excited about. Did you guys know I love animals? I love wolves and foxes. So like this is like the perfect birthday. We're not doing anything too crazy. It's just go get a nice breakfast, fill up on food and go play with animals. And that just sounds like the best way to spend your 25th birthday the week before you get married. So I guess let's get this thing started. So I'm not sure if you guys noticed or not, but I'm in a different location, neglected to mention that part of the story. I moved to a new city at the beginning of the year. I moved from the east side of Michigan to the west side, and I got my very first apartment, which is pretty cool. Got a nice big bed. Guess I'll give you a little bit of an apartment tour. It's not a very big place, so you'll be able to figure out pretty quickly. So that nice big bed, my dresser, my dresser. I feel so terrible. I have my closet and then when my fiance moves in next week this side will be his closet they're not too big or fancy but between the closet and my two dressers i can fit all my stuff so that's pretty good <laughs> so we walk out of there and right kitty corner to that is the bathroom it's not big at all not fancy <laughs> and got a nice shower small toilet that's it it's not fancy. Nothing about this place is fancy, but it's comfy and it's relatively affordable. Across the bathroom, portraits of my babies. On this wall, got all sorts of memorabilia from Japan that I put into shadow boxes. It's just really cool stuff to be able to have. Hopefully I will be able to collect some more really cool stuff when we go back. Just moved in my fiance's desk, which we're both going to use to work from home. It's a good thing we like each other, right? <laughs> I've got a couple of shelves with a bunch of stuff, a bunch of books from both of our interests. Kind of got some of Matt's stuff moved in at this point. I'd say a lot of Matt's stuff moved in, minus some clothes and a couple of, I guess, computer setup. That'll come in very last and the next week before we travel for the wedding. An adorable engagement photo from last fall. Um, what else? Oh, we've got the living room. Again, like I said, not big. So we've got the office and the living room. And the sofa, it's actually a pullout, which is nice. So if we do have any guests, we can have people stay here, crash here if they want to. Whether it's my parents or friends or somebody wants to swing by. Uh, new TV setup, which I was really, this was probably the part I was most excited for, honestly, because I've never had like a TV that's mine. And so I bought a TV and it's fancy. It's a, it's a smart TV, which it's smart. Most of the time it's smart in that it knows how to automatically connect to Netflix and it's dumb in that it's really hard to screencast to, but we can live for the deal I got on that. Next, we have the dining room, which is directly connected to the living room. Nice dining space. This is an awesome table that my parents actually found um, at like a resale shop, I believe. Um, we recently just got a bunch of stuff from our shower. So we got a bunch of new placemats and coasters and bowls. Down here is something really cool. This is a serving tray that I repurposed, repainted, and then made a logo for with our last name initial and then our wedding date just kind of cool to have 
Over here, I have something extremely dorky. This was an item <laughs> that I've wanted for the longest time. <laughs> I just laugh about it because it's it's really so stupid, but I love it so much. <laughs> So yeah, every hour on the hour, it makes a little tune or a sound. Um, during Christmas, there's a Christmas setting, so it'll play all the Christmas tunes any daylight hour on the hour. I don't know, it just makes me happy. It's the simple things in life, right? All right, and then in this corner of the dining room, I've set up like a little coffee bar. Just super cute, just my standard Keurig. I found a bunch of sugar-free syrups so I've been stocking up on those to try to be a little healthier. This is a really cute cutting board that my aunt had made for us for a shower gift. And so I've been using that to kind of rest the coffee on as I prepare it. And down in here, got lots of shelves with teas and coffees and alcohol beverage holders. This is where we keep our wine and any of our alcohol will go down here. It's just, it's just a simple little, little bar area. It's, not big at all because there's not space in here for it to be large, but it will do for the time while we're here. And then we walk into the kitchen, which is not big at all. It is the smallest kitchen in the world, just about. We have our very not fancy stove, no timer. There was no thermometer on the oven, so we had to buy one that goes inside of it to tell us when it's warm enough. It's lacking in counter space, but it'll work microwave sink extra corner and then the feature of this entire place i have a dishwasher now that might not sound like much to some people but the last place i lived in for five years no dishwasher so every time we finally had the energy after homework <laughs> to do dishes we did dishes and it took forever it felt like and now this is not a fancy dishwasher in fact it's not even great but it's so nice to be able to every night after you're done with dinner, you put the dishes in the dishwasher, you hit a couple buttons, and then you walk away, and everything gets washed. And it's not perfect, but I can work with it. It's fine. It's it's pretty great, actually. So I'm pretty stoked about having a dishwasher. And then the last place of the apartment, because I told you this place was not large. We have our patio. So we have a couple of chairs that my mom just brought over. So I've been enjoying being able to take my laptop outside, work from home in the outdoors. It's really not a whole lot to it. Just got the couple of chairs and some flowers. This is my vegetable garden this year. It's been terrorized by bugs. And then my failed flower garden is this little thing that I think is just drowned in the rain at this point and I can't do anything about it which that's basically the theme of this year right is well can't do anything about that so I'm just gonna live with it which should make for another really fun video in the future if I get time again not making any promises just saying this would be really fun to do is I would like to make a video all about what wedding planning is like during this pandemic <sighs> It's not been easy, guys, and I knew wedding planning could be stressful, but I don't, honestly, I am such an easygoing person. I don't think any of it would have been stressful if COVID hadn't happened. Like, if there was no such thing as COVID, this would have been such smooth sailing and so easygoing, and uh, I just, it'd be great to explain, but maybe in another video. I feel like I don't want to overload everybody with information. So maybe I'm just going to focus more on what am I doing this week? I think for tonight, the plan is we're going to go celebrate my mother-in-law-to-be's birthday. Then I'm going to probably work on some stuff at home. Not quite sure what I want to do with the night yet. Probably just get a lot of rest because I need it. And I've been stressing too much and I just need to get lots of sleep. And yeah, and then tomorrow we've got our big birthday bash. And Sunday we might hang out with some friends to have a good... I would consider it a relaxing weekend. None of this is taxing to me. So, should be fun to check out. Good morning, Miss Reza. Okay, bye. Good morning, Gremlin. Oh, 
Where's my big fella? Do you want some food or something? Somebody greets me every morning. Hi, do you want food? So anyway, I'm up, Adam, waiting for my ride, and uh, hanging out with the cats. Right, cats? Say hi to the YouTubes. Say hi, buddy. He's not very interested. Reason you want to say hi? He likes you. You should feel honored. <laughs> Feel the horns? Yeah. He's got something to say. <laughs> Here. Um, these two that are actually right up close to us. We used to be house dogs before we got them. Um, so the gray wolf right here, Coda actually came from Canada. He was a, like a hockey mascot up there. So like he would run and retrieve pucks and all that good stuff. Oh my God. Um, his owner ended up getting a car accident and not being able to take care of him anymore. So he came here. And then the black one that just ran to the back, uh, the shelter thought she was part wolf. So she, they were gonna put her down. Um, so we snagged her too. Uh, we just got the white wolf back there probably about a year ago. And she absolutely hated people. Yeah. So what we do is we put two nice wolves in there to go in and spend time with them to kind of show them that we're not the bad guys. Uh, so yeah. we went from being able to not go in there at all to a couple of us can go in there now. I've been able to touch her like two times and all that good stuff. It's a very, very slow process, but we're getting it. The favorite guy right here is just very immature for his age, so he got put in here with the puppies. <laughs> Scarf, they shredded all of it, all that good stuff. <laughs> um, they jump for people's glasses. It's just very, very difficult to control everybody at once. So. I'm gonna show this behind you though. Okay, so you can come over here and pet him. He's completely fine, okay? Um, <laughs> like I said, I would just not stick your full hand in here like I'm doing. Oh, hi, Woody. Hi. <laughs> hi.
They're a bunch of pain in the butt is what they are. <laughs> He's <laughs> 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 like, oh, you're letting me out? Yeah. Get him, Cotton. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just imagine all of them at once. It's the best. It's literally the best. Not annoying whatsoever. Okay. No, man. <laughs> Anybody else? Alright, yeah, I'll talk you right into it. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. <laughs> up here right now is Loki. He's our oldest one. We first got him like when I first came here. Uh, he was literally trying to fight people's feet as they were walking outside. He was super, super aggressive towards people. Uh, so we're carrying so we're like, just want to back out of the way. I usually tell people that they're like super smart animals, but I want to avoid that this time because he's been ahead for a while. <laughs> Okay, so this right here is Rex and Lacey. Um, they are 50% wolf and 50% Malamute. We have both of their parents, so we'll get to see her in a little bit. Um, so their mom is, like I said, 100% wolf. Their dad is a very, very chunky Malamute. We'll get to see him in a little bit too. Everybody's awake. <laughs> So this is the first wolf pen I ever went in when I was here. Um, she's 13 at this point. She's also 100% pure wolf. Um, she's also an absolute okay. <laughs> So everybody's going to be able to come into this one. Like I said, she's super, super friendly. The most she'll do is she'll rub up on you. Hi, so we right. got a little heated over there. Hi, big boy. Hey. <laughs> yeah, always. We can totally keep you in an apartment, stuff. right? Sure. Aww. Hi, buddy. Sure, he'll do great with two cats. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, baby. <laughs> so, how long has this place been around if she's. Um, like, they've been here for 17, 18 oh, yeah. years. Open to the public, though, probably only the last five. Oh, okay. Put your hands oh, away. Just loving life. <laughs> yeah. He's about it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, what a baby. Oh <laughs> <laughs> like I said, this is the first time I ever went in, so like generally I try not to play favorites, but like she makes it very difficult to know. Honestly. Oh, look at that. So She's precious. Like, Stop. Oh. <laughs> she was, she was like, excuse me, I was getting cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, so he actually just got put in her with her at the beginning of the summer. Um, she had a mate, his name was Two Max. He was 14 and a half, and he passed right at the beginning of the summer. Um, so Spirit is barely, barely wolf. Uh, and we actually let him out to run around, and he's just very, very well behaved. Um, with her personality, it just makes it super easy. <laughs>
he's generally almost completely blind. So he's just kinda he's just kinda chilling. The other wolf that is in there with him, um, her name is Pretty Girl. She came from basically like a puppy mill situation. So it was people trying to breed wolves and not doing a very good job at it. Um, so she is also severely inbred. So she's got quite the underbite going on. Uh, she has super bad anxiety towards people. She bites the end of her tail. Been here for close to two years now. I've only been able to touch her like five times. Omni is the one that is sitting on top of his little food enclosure right there um he's the most expensive wolf that we have here we're only babysitting him for right now um he came in at a little over 12 grand so these are the parents to rex and lacy the first two that we went in with over there um she is a complete wolf i've also never seen it two dogs are like more madly in love with each other <laughs> she's a terror as well like there's a riot shield that's over there so generally when volunteers need to go in there they bring a riot shield with them <laughs> Um, she's taken a coat off of me before, she's taken shoes off of me before. She's shoes? Just, yes. Yeah. <laughs> she's a very, very playful little young lady. Hey, BB. Her eyes are so pretty. Hi, BB. Say hi, Taylor. <laughs> you can live stream for up to eight hours. hours. <laughs> if it lasts more than eight hours, call your doctor. <laughs> Get the eel. Can I try something eel? I've never had eel. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. So I think we'll perform something. You want to perform? Perform something. Yeah, no. Okay. Do Are something the, uh, fun. The kabayaki eel. Yeah. <laughs> it's making you laugh. It, it works. works. <laughs> We're at Korean barbecue. This is fun. I'm vlogging. It's really weird to do it around other people. We'll just stare at you. Does that make I'll just turn it back on you. No, 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 absolutely not. I've already been in one of your vlogs. You have. It was great. They have Korean barbecue. The whole thing. The whole bottle of Franks. The whole bottle. If you poke this squid and it starts moving around. Oh, is it going to be one of those things? No, 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 no. Ignore him. But if it is, you got your money's worth. <laughs> you can say you've eaten live meat. Ooh, chopsticks. Very. Give me all your potatoes, green beans, kimchi, and some chicken. 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 Sweet rat, kimchi's cabbage. So it's definitely kimchi. Oh, okay. Sweet radish. I don't remember what you said. Though. Oh, okay, you're right. That mystery. Mystery cube. I'll eat the mystery cube. What is it? Oh, okay. Still a mystery. <laughs> Spicy cube. <laughs> oh, no. How's the dumpling? One is a base, the other one. You're holding it. You and I are doing it the same way. Yeah, okay. Try it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like recoil. <laughs> it seems to be chilling. Well, that one over there is moving. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. I want to have Korean food with Wyatt before I actually know that I think about it. Is that rice? Uh -huh. okay. How is it? It's good. It's a little spicy. I think I'll be. Oh. Oh, hey. <laughs> I think I'll be okay. It'll be fine. We put it on the grill in individual pieces. Yeah, but there's this... little vents. Fall through. No, you put it in the center. That is the grease. Yeah, and the grease should run down. Yeah. Oh, oh, I understand. Yeah. I put it. Put it. Yeah. It's basically. Hey guys, it's Monday, which means it's officially wedding week, which is super crazy and exciting, and also a little bit of stress. Just, just a little bit of stress. Little, little bit as we kind of wrap the last bits together. Um, but just kind of wanted to fill you in on some of the last clips you saw. So my birthday was planning on just going out to brunch and visiting an animal sanctuary and come back home and just chilling like any other day because honestly we have a lot going on the next couple weeks. So I kind of figured, oh, just be low key, that's fine, whatever. And then lo and behold, my fiance surprised me with two of my best friends and their boyfriends showing up and we all got to go on like a a little triple date and just hang out for the afternoon, which was really awesome. <laughs> what a nice little birthday surprise I wasn't expecting at all. <laughs> Didn't have a clue. It, it was just a really awesome day. Sunday, I uh, went to church, just kind of hung out with my fiance a little bit. And then my brother and his uh, wife came over. So we got to hang out with them, play some games and go out to dinner. It's been a wonderful weekend filled with friends. And now I've got a very busy week getting stuff packed 
wrapping up last minute projects, making sure I got everything in order and I'm still working full time. So you're seeing my look from my office at home here. Got some nice video game posters, Bruce Lee, one of Matt's, <laughs> all that good stuff up on the wall. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm going to sign off for this vlog because I've got a lot to focus on this week and I'd like to be able to edit and get this out before I head out Thursday for all the way shenanigans. So thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye!